So dudes, so as you can see, I just left Best Buy. I had to pick up a new memory stick because apparently I lost mine yesterday, but I got the footage out of it, so that's always important. After the Porsche dealer, we're off to Long Beach. Then I have a couple emails to answer and a couple other things to do at home. Then, the moment you've all been waiting for. I get to pick up Stevie Churchill from the airport and you're in for a treat because we're gonna have a little Q&A with him. And he just got back from Prague where he had a two or three week federal trip. And for those of you that don't know, which is probably all of you guys because this is all internal, deep industry stuff, but Stevie missed his flight yesterday and a couple of the federal dudes got arrested. So I'm gonna get the backstory from Stevie. Hopefully he's all in one piece because his last South American adventure, he came back with a broken thumb and got beat up multiple times. So it's always an adventure with Stevie. Some life goals. Get a motorcycle and color match it to your helmet. All in. This man knows how to party. Oh, it smells terrible. Apparently his car caught fire. Yeah, look at that poor BMW. All right, made it to downtown LA. Today's my last day with the Porsche Cayenne, so this is gonna get less convenient. But the Panamera still does all right. So this guy on the mural over here, he just stumped his eye. But apparently yesterday I broke something back here. I'm thinking it's the axle, but we're about to find out. Apparently there's a line to the store. What up, Phil? Why are we matching? All black with a little bit of gold? What up, dog? You don't shake. I guess you do. Vlog is life, bro. Bullshit that you bring to the store, Carlos. How vain and triumphant do I look? You're looking hot, that's for sure. <laughs> are you guys interviewing for the vlogger position too, or what? No? So these are all the no jumper candidates. A lot of them, apparently. Dude, that line is long. Who's this? House phone? What up, dog? This is this you, Adam? <laughs> homosexual kid came in and did the interview, gave me that, and then told the stories about fucking dudes off grinder. So sick. This embodies Grinder and oh, you. Right <laughs> Alright, base, I'm gonna get out of here. Good luck with your interviews. We got a lot. Oh, Later, vlog master. Vlog gods. Vlog gods. Tone dog. I'm out. I will delete that from the YouTube. <laughs> Later, guys. Good luck with the interview. Hope you guys all get it. Just left OSS. Got a new axle on my bike. Actually, I got a whole new wheel. Shout out to Shadow Conspiracy for hooking it up. Super funny story. So this kid walks into the store. Phil and I assume he's just a customer. We ask him if he needs any help, and he says, I'm here for the no jumper interview. We're like, well, there's a line. He's like, I know. And he just tries to walk to the back. We're like, yo, no, there's a line. So he's like, oh, okay. So he walks outside and stands in the front of the line instead of the very back. I'm pretty sure that kid's about to get mauled. Well, I guess Adam's gonna sift through a bunch of crazy ass kids. Good luck, Adam. Sometimes you gotta push the limit. As you can see, the Porsche is registering that I'm out of gas. But, little life hack, once your range goes off, you got about 10 miles to get to the gas station. So, hopefully, i um, make it. Oh, snaps. Good reminder not to put regular gas in this. Diesel only. You diesel? Yeah? All right, sick. Here's the courteous tip. Anytime you borrow a vehicle, make sure to return it with more, or at least as much gas as they'll let you borrow with. If you return it to a dealership or a rental place, they're gonna charge you like a seven or eight dollars a gallon, so you don't want that to happen. A dog dogging you. I should've known you were a dog when I met you. Are these your guys' trophies? You guys earned all these? Damn. You personally. Of course. You killed it. You kill it. <laughs> Sweet. So I got the Panamera back. Now to load up the bike. Go home. So we're back in action. Little minor damage here on the bumper, but you know, we'll have to get that fixed later. Let's roll. So as much as this goes against my diet, it is darn right delicious. But you know what they say, a second on the lips and a lifetime on the hips. So here I am again, leaving the Porsche dealership, but this time with my car and ice cream in hand. Back up, you animals. Hey. What do you have, Bo? Sasha, what do you want? Oh, jeez. <laughs> nope. So I wanted to go ride bikes with Hicks, but apparently he's already done riding for the day. So I'm gonna catch up on some work, and then I gotta get ready and pick up Stevie from the airport. As I mentioned earlier, Stevie missed his original flight from Prague. He was scheduled to arrive here at 5 p.m. Luckily, they were able to find him another flight that got here at only 11 p.m., but 11 on a Friday in Los Angeles. That means that my night kind of got ruined, but hey, what can I do? It's my little buddy. It's taken me about 15 minutes just to get to this point, and we're not even in the airport. Yeah, <laughs> he's so stoked. Look at him. He's alive, he's back. How you been? 
Sorry about that. I didn't know the traffic would be so insane. Oh, oh, welcome back to America, my man. Dude, the girls there have no asses. <laughs> Most of them have big tits, but no ass. Oh, well, sick license plate. I'm a fucking vlogger, dude. You're not a vlogger. We got off the airplane and we're going straight to a bar. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty tired. He had a what, 16 hour flight? Something Dude, like that? It was all fucking day. And then it took me five hours to go get him. Roughly. I was falling asleep on the curb. Look how deep this V is. This is not intentional, guys, right? Don't hate me. This V <laughs> was not meant to be this deep. The button just came undone. Look at that hair, too. I look like a piece of crap. I just got off a plane. I'm sorry, man. I'm just picking at you. But we're about to grab a brew and then I'm gonna have him give me a little QA about his trip to Prague. Great time, huh? You're in for a treat. Oh, I know. <laughs> if only I had a better mic. So you were in Prague for what, how long? 20 days, yeah. It was good. You know, I had a bit of bad luck. Like two, three days I didn't have my bike because the airport lost it. It rained a bit. Finally got my bike. We didn't really get to go out and do much. Last part of the trip was good because it, it was like super nice weather. Who were you there with? First part was uh, me, Joe Jarvis, Jordan Aleppo, Rich Form, Smoko. In general, it was a fun trip. One of the times I got tear gassed by a taxi what? driver. I'm, I'm not even sure what it was, but it burnt so fucking bad that I yeah. literally was crying it out of my eyes. So it was tear gassed. Like, yeah. My face was swollen for two days after. How were the ladies? The ladies were all right, but just the flattest asses you've ever seen. Straight pancake. So why did everyone get arrested? I don't really know. I came back and there were cop cars there. I'm not gonna say names who got arrested, but two people got arrested and I tried to bail them out. I searched for the jail literally almost all night. I get there and I'm knocking on the door and the cops are looking at me like, they finally opened the door and uh, I'm like, hey, we have a flight to catch. I need my friends out, like I, I gotta get them out. And they were like, all right, we can't let him out today. We'll let him out tomorrow. And then I woke up to the cleaning lady in the hotel right. screaming at me. No, she was pissed. What was she pissed about? I don't think I got out in time. She came in at like 12 and she just yelling at me. So I have to take all their shit downstairs. It was just a bad time. Czech Republic was crazy, man. A couple of hookers came up to me in the club. They were like, hey, you want to fuck? And I was just like, no. They got super pissed at me. And it was just hilarious. They were just talking shit. Uh, I would like to shout out Federal for the trip. Thank you. Sorry I missed my flight. I'm just thankful that you guys have my back. I'd like to shout out Primo, OSS, The Come Up, S1 Helmets, Dan's Calm, Low Tech, Alfredo Mancuso for picking me up. Damn, you got a lot of sponsors, homie. Shark Attack. <laughs> A lot of homies. All right, so it's late night. I gotta get Stevie home. He hasn't slept since, I don't know, God knows. <laughs> vlogger life. Or vlogger life. <laughs> so, hope you guys enjoyed this. Next week, I think we're gonna do Stevie Churchill bike build, so I think you guys are gonna enjoy that one. All right, well, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to The Come Up, follow Stevie on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. Have a great night. Later, guys. <laughs>